It's amazing. When I was a kid, back in children's church, one of the scriptures they taught me then was this one I want to quote for you now. I learned it. I crammed it. I memorized it then, back then. See? Say, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Somebody said, oh, now I understand why some people are not tall. The Bible says all have sinned and come short. <laughs> That's not what it's talking about. It's not the height. It has nothing to do with your height. All right. Read for me Romans chapter 3 verse 23. Again. What did sin do? For all have sinned. And what? They've come short of it. They've fallen short of it. Short of the glory of God. They don't qualify for the glory of God anymore. So sin took them out of the glory of God. What does that mean? That before sin, they were in the glory of God. What is glory, by the way? Maybe I should read for you the meaning. All right? Can you take it? All right, let's, let's, let's try to get this. Glory. What does it mean? It means great honor, praise, or distinction. Majestic beauty and splendor. Resplendence. The splendor and bliss of heaven. Perfect happiness. <laughs> the height of achievement, enjoyment, and prosperity. Did you hear that? Then when you say, when you use it as a verb, to glory, means to rejoice triumphantly, to exalt. So it's all what? Beautiful. And so when you talk about glory, you're talking about splendor, beauty, excellence. So, when God made man, he made him for what? Glory. For excellence, for beauty. Everything about him was praiseworthy. Then it says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They couldn't meet it anymore. When you're sick in your body, that's not the glory of God. Glory is excellence. Glory is splendor. Glory is beauty. Glory is praiseworthiness. Somebody ought to look at your life and say, praise God. You know, it's like the queen of Sheba when she went to visit Solomon. When she got there, she said, the half of it was not told me. She was overwhelmed. By the glory of God in the life of the man Solomon. And she was rich. She was, she was rich. But when she got to Solomon, she said, I, I heard so much about you. I found out now the half of it was not told me. Hallelujah. 
Think about that. Say this with me. I'm not a nobody. I'm a king. I'm a priest. Cool. You got it. Yeah. That's exactly right. But if you don't know that, you live a life less than the calling of God on you. But you think it's okay. That's why I like that song. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. You didn't know it. Old song. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. I will sing praise unto the Lord. It says, hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. He's talking about me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God's, God's idea wasn't destroy. God thinks kingdom. He thinks kingdom. That's the way he thinks. He's big. He thinks kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. Kingdom mentality. That's the way he thinks. And everyone in his kingdom is a prince, a king, a priest of God. Anointed. He said, all have sinned and come short. Of the glory of God. Okay. So. Listen. Why is that important? When sin came. Man fell. From that glory. So. It means. He was supposed to have glory before. He was created for glory. Then he fell short of it. The Bible says. In Adam. We all die. But in Christ, all are made what? Alive. Since as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive.